in this tutorial, let's see how to create a storyboard. A storyboard will take place in the project tab within new timeline just here. So you can start to draw anything. And actually this drawing will be done on the first layer, on the first instance within your project. To create a new scene within your storyboard, a new clip, you will make a double click like this. And automatically you can draw And you can continue the process and start to tell your story. So here I have different scenes or we can also call them different clips actually and we can eventually change the order of the different clips by clicking on the names and moving them like this. You can eventually stick two clips together just by pasting them like this. So you are about to think there's no really big difference actually. Yes, you're right, the only difference is visual actually um, when clips are separated together like this we can see there is a gap between two clips when there is no gap we say that the um, bunch of clips pasted together are a scene so these three clips since there there's no gap between those three clips are forming a scene so the difference between scene and clips is actually only visual. I mean, it's only for your own comfort to make, for example, the difference between um, an act and another act. Or, um, for example, let's say here the guy is talking and we have made several clips. Here it's the same plan, actually. If we were using a real camera, there won't be any cut. And here we have another camera uh, shot without any cut, and there is a cut between the both scenes. But that's the way to proceed. Of course, you can do as you wish. As I said, it's just visual, so use them as you prefer. You can also avoid to use them if you don't like to paste clips together and use scene. It's really as you wish. Once your storyboard has been created, you have the possibility to write some information. To do so, oh, let's make this timeline bigger, I will click on the icon just here. So here we have the occidental view where I can write information. Although I'm not writing within a very dark Finnish or Polish language, it's just me hitting my keyboard without any sense. Here we can use another view, the view used by um, most cases by Asians since they prefer to have such a view. And there is also a fourth view, but this one will be introduced into another tutorial. You'll notice there are some many icons available here. We also have an icon to lock the storyboard, so when the storyboard is locked, you can't change the storyboard anymore. You can also change the timing, and when you change the timing, you can see here the values here are changing. So here I am using the time code and here the frame uh, number. And you can also zoom in and zoom out your storyboard just by clicking on this uh, icon. And by holding the click on the right, you zoom in. And holding the click on the left, you're zooming out. In addition of the time code or the frame rate here, we have other information available here. For example, if we put some clips together, yes, just like this, we can see here a bunch of numbers. The first number is the scene number. So here we are on the first scene and here we are on the second scene. Here we are, we know there are um, three clips inside this scene. And here we are on the first 
clip from this scene, the second clip from this scene, and the third clip from this scene. So this is also one of the advantages of using the scene and clip difference. But if you don't like it, well, it doesn't, doesn't, it's not a big deal. You will have just one, two, three, four, five, and that's all. <laughs> Once the storyboard is made, you still have the possibility to uh, complete your drawings. And by completing your drawings, I mean creating new layers. To create new layers, you can double-click on a thumbnail, or you can switch from Project to Clip Timeline tab just here. And so you can create new animation layers or even backgrounds, for example. Such a lovely background, isn't it? Some last interesting feature regarding the storyboard engine. We can eventually hide a clip like this, just by hitting on the top right corner, just here. So for example, if you have two alternative into a scene, for example, here I have two alternative, I don't know which one is the good one. Okay, let's hide this one. It's important since you can still refine the other version without any problem. You don't need to delete the complete clip. You can also assign a group. To do so, you make a right click and you hit the group of your choice. Here, it's completely visual. I mean, you can use this feature, for example, to make the difference between uh, the clips, the scene that have been validated by the team, by the production, and the one where there are still some retakes to do. And let's have a a look on these lines of icons. So we have different bunch of icons. So for example, I have the possibility to create scenes before the current place or after. I can delete a complete scene. I can duplicate a complete scene. I can separate them or stick them again. And here we have the same, but not with the scene, but with the clips. So I can create the clips inside the scene on the left or a new clip at the right or delete the current clip, duplicate the current clip or merge the current clip with the following one, like this. And now all the layers are inside the same clip. 